Consider yourself, be you, leave be tempted. Bear you one another's burdens, so fulfill the law of Christ. For if a man think of himself to be something, when he is nothing, he has deceived himself. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he rejoice in himself alone and not in another. For every man shall bear his own burden. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teaching in all good things. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. Verse 9 says, And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Verse 10 says, As we therefore have opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially those who are of the household of faith. And verses 1 through 10 of the sixth chapter of the book of Galatians, as God bless the reading, the hearers and the doers of his holy and righteous word. Amen. 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 Amen.
I will be reading from Psalms 51, 1 through 5. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquities and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Again, thee, thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shaped in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. I read you Psalms 51, 1 through 5. May the Lord have a reading, have a blessing on the reader's ears and do it of his holy word. Amen.
with the devil. Meant for bad. God had another plan. Come on, say it. It was all for my good. Yeah. Yes. First, giving obedience to God. Two, Pastor Hall, Pastor Mays, and all of my co laborers, members, and friends. I was glad when they say, Let us come into the house of the Lord. Amen. I won't be before you long. Um, we've had some pretty good teaching here in, within the last couple of months. So, if you hear something knocking, it's my boots. <laughs> we have um, had a tremendous time in the Lord here in Mount Pittman. Um, our pastor say, do you see what I see? Are you helping or are you just hindering? Then we had our own Minister Mays come back saying, I know God, do you know God? Then they put before me, Evangelist Wright, somebody not. So, Pastor Hall preached on Sunday, and I looked at um, Sister Hall, I said, Sister Hall, I said, he just preached that sermon a couple weeks ago, didn't he? She said, no, it's just a different title. <laughs> and it was. And how do you see what you see? So I had been, and it was for me. It was for me. I'm going to go ahead and read the, the uh, scripture, and you guys can have a seat. I'm going to be coming out of Psalms. Thirty-seven. Okay. <laughs> and the meat is going to be coming out of the seventh verse. Okay. But I will be, re be, re be reading from the first to the eighth verse. Okay. Fret not thyself because of evildoers. Mm -hmm. Not of the envious against workers in iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Mm -hmm. Commit thy ways unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it <coughs> to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteous as the light and the judgment and thy judgment judgment excuse me as noonday seven rest in the lord and wait patiently for him fret not thyself because of him who prosper in the way because of the man who bringeth wickedness device to pass cast from anger and forsake well. Fear, fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Amen. I'm going to be talking about what you're waiting for. Okay. All right. All right. I struggled. I prayed. I told Pastor Hall after the evangelist right preached. The last Wednesday of last month, I said, now how do I come behind her? And who's knocking? And his answer was, be yourself. So I studied Hosea. God didn't want me to do Hosea. I studied Malachi. God didn't want me to do Malachi. So I've done three weeks of studying something that God didn't want me to do. And on Sunday, I went home and I was rocking the baby to sleep. And I woke up, 
he woke me up and, and we had been doing the prayer line. If you're on the prayer line, if you listen to the prayer line, seemed like every day something was coming out of Psalms. Something was coming out of Psalms. Everybody was reading out of Psalms. So when he woke me up, it was Psalms 37 and 7. I don't look at the top. I go straight to Psalms 37 and 7. But Pastor Hall, you didn't know I had posted something on Facebook. I didn't curse nobody. <laughs> but I told them they understand where I was coming from. Amen. And when you preached on Sunday, I was like, now, this is another sermon. He act like he in my pocket. He, I know he don't go on Facebook and he don't hear nothing I say. Because I'm not, I try to refrain from using bad words, so that's when you really just push that button. And I was like, how he know what was going on on Facebook? But that was God letting me know that he knew where I was in the anger. Mm -hmm. And I was real anger. And that's the way David was with the Israelites. Uh -huh. He was angry with them because they didn't not only do what God said, but they didn't listen to him. God told them not to leave the land that they had inherited, and they left anyway. When I, and I'm making this personal because it is personal, because when after I read it, fret not evil doers, God, David was counseling the people before they left mm -hmm. to go into the land with the wicked. He, he, he tried to counsel them. So David knew what God wanted. Now for the ones that don't know who David is, David is a sweet songstress of, uh, of Israel. He's a musician, he sings, he composes, he writes poems. They sent him to Jerusalem to worship. The definition that I found for weight, it came from the Hebrew. Come on. I'm going to try to pronounce it. Oh, you, do it. you can do it. Quavin. And it's to wait, hope, look, expect, and help them. And to know that there in the Old Testament, it makes a strong promise for those who wait. For the Lord. I waited patiently on, for the Lord. For those that want to look up the word, it's spelled Q A V I N. David, like most of us, we refuse to wait on God. Now, David, he was tempted in his fret in waiting. David was the king of Israel, and he wrote this because he was trying to help his people keep things in perspective, especially when it was regarding on how they viewed the enemies around them. How many of us have enemies around us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. David began to feel very angry. Then he thought that God was not going to help him. But you have to remember that one day that God will put things right. David just had to wait for that day. Yeah. Yeah. David was encouraging his people of the times in Israel to stay and let God give them what he had for them, and that was the land. God giving them so much land. So as I continued to study on this, I was like, it's got to be another reason why David was angry, because they left the land. So I went to Bible hood. And as I Googled Bible Hub and went into Bible Hub, in big bold letters it went, delight yourself in the Lord. Uh -huh. Trust God. Yeah. The wicked may seem to prosper, but it is reassurance the faithful to remain patient, righteous, and deeply rooted in trusting in God. Now David counseled the righteous. To trust the Lord. Yeah. He says to do good, enjoy self pleasures, commit thy ways to the Lord, and that word again, be patient. Mm -hmm. All right. mm -hmm. 
In this text, you'll find that David was a counselor from verse 1 through 11. And if you keep reading, David got cautious with it. In 12 and 23, the Israelites and David had confidence in what God had for them. Sometimes we just want, don't want to wait on the Lord. I can re remember the scripture in Isaiah 40 and 31 says, They that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They will mount up on wings like an eagle. Yeah. Yeah. They will run and not grow weary. Right. They will walk and not faint. Yeah, yeah. So Isaiah tells us that too, just to rest and wait on the Lord. Yeah. God will allow him to take allow God to take charge. Believe that his grace is sufficient and he's powerful. All right. Waiting on the Lord prepares us to re receive the blessings that oh, he yeah. wants to give us. Oh, yeah. You ask what the blessings are? The blessings are in our focus verse. It states that this renewed strength, mm -hmm. spiritual strength, and strength to endure and stand and carry on. Right. We need to be we need to be still and wait at a word again patiently mm -hmm. on him, the Lord on the Lord, because God has promised us faithfully faithfully to take care of those who put their trust in him. Yeah, yeah. We can rest yeah. in the Lord. We can yeah. wait patiently yeah. for him instead of fretting and fearing that God has forgotten us instead of evil on us. I continued to read this and I was going, now, if I had a waited on God, if I had to, if I had a picked up the word like I was supposed to, yeah. the post wouldn't have been made. Right, right. But God always have a ram in the bush. Oh, yes, he does. That ram that was in the bush knew that I was angry. And they told me when they called me, they say, Minister Hamilton, I felt that through my soul. You need to take that down. I would say, I didn't curse. I just let them know how I felt. But if you wait patiently on God, David knew. David talked about waiting on God in Psalms 27 and 14. He knew then that all he had to do was wait on God. Yeah. David knew that if he had a waiting on the Lord, he didn't have to tell the Israelites anything because God had already prepared them. All he had to do was just wait. God also talked to Rebecca and told her that she needed to wait. Hanukkah had to, Hanukkah had, Haggai had to wait. Everyone had to wait on the Lord. God also told, sent Paul to talk to Timothy and out. told Timothy, tell them that they have to wait. All right. They have to renew their strength. Yeah. We have to know that trusting in God, we're going to have to wait. Now, we find that God will protect us yes. because he's committed. If we trust in him, Everything will be made to pass. All right. In verses 7 and 8, if we rest in God who deals with the wicked, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him because he has promised the faithful to take care of those who patiently wait on him. Yeah. We can rest in the Lord because God still says, this sermon should have been named patient because he said, be patiently Wait on him instead of fretting and fearing that God has forgotten about us. So I leave with you, my brothers and sisters, that if we wait, wait. on the Lord, no matter what it is, just wait patiently on the Lord. On the Lord, Amen. It's, 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 you know, God has a way of confirming some things to each and every one of us, and it just seems kind of unique. Um, 
what I sent out this morning to everybody. Yeah. Amen. And that text says, be strong enough that word. I mean, this 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 thing says, be strong enough to walk away. And what is the best for you? You know, when folk coming after you, we ought to learn to be strong enough to walk away from that stuff. And then say, be patient enough to wait for the blessing that you deserve. But she just explained to each and every one of us, by not waiting patiently on what God has for us, we may be cutting our own to the heart. Amen. Amen. So we just got to learn no matter what it looked like, what we're facing with, we got to learn just to be patient and wait on God. Amen. So we thank God for that. Amen. To remind each and every one of us that we got to learn to wait on the Lord. His timing is not our timing. Amen. We got to trust His timing because it's the best timing. Uh, as the door of the invitation to discipleship is open to each and every one of us on today, there may be one on today that has made the rightful decision that you're going to make Lord Christ Jesus as your Savior. And as we give that open invitation to you on tonight, amen, it is there presented to each and every one of us on today. You may have said that, hey, you know, I've been had and I've been saved and sanctified, but along the way, I may have just kind of taken a back seat. Amen to following the Lord. But today is the day that you just say, I want to get back on track and keep continuing in a direction that God would need me to go. We ask that that is you on tonight. We give you that opportunity. Amen to come as we trust. abound to every good work. So as it is written, he that has dispersed abroad 
He had given to the poor, and his righteousness remained forever. Amen. If you can just hold your offering in your hand. We're going to change it up on tonight and say, Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. For the gift of giving. For the gift of giving. Lord, I give my offering. Lord, I give my offering. Willfully. Willfully. And honestly. And honestly. According to your will. According to your will. Bless this offering. Bless this offering. Bless your dwelling place. Bless your dwelling place. And all works acknowledging. And all works acknowledging. His holy name. His holy name. Amen. 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 So on the fifth Friday night, we're going to have movie night. On the fifth Friday night in the month of April, we'll have movie night, and then we'll continue in May on the fifth Wednesday night to have movie night. So we had so much of a good time on the last movie night that they said that was too far, spread it before we get the next one. So it'll be on the fifth Friday night in the month of April, and then we'll continue on the fifth Wednesday night in May, all right? Yeah. All right. I would like to thank you, Minister Johnson, for coming out.
y'all. Thank y'all for all coming out. Thank y'all.